All right, so now that we've learned about submarines, we're going to first write down the parts that I want you to think about for your submarine, and then we're gonna sketch one. So pause here, and you're gonna write down submarine, ballast tank, propeller, periscope, and windows. When you are done writing that down, you're gonna turn your paper sideways, and you're gonna have this guide to kind of help you shape your submarine. So start with a body. It can be an oval, it could be more of this um, kind of eye lemon shape, or it could be this more kind of triangular shape. But you're gonna to practice in your sketchbook first. And you don't have to, after you get the body down, you don't have to do this in order. You can, um, you can design it how you want as long as it has those things. So I'm going to do kind of the lemon shape. And I'm sketching because this is my sketchbook. And it does not have to be perfect. This is just me planning. Um, and it's okay if this one isn't perfect because you're gonna have to draw it again. All right, so I think I will do my periscope next. And they're kind of um, thick because we're gonna cut them out and if you're in class with me. Um, so you can also mix and match it. So maybe I wanna do the wide part like this and then like that top part. Uh, propellers and fins, you can also mix and match like the propeller and the fins. So maybe I'll do something like those fins, but I like that propeller. Got windows and ballast tanks. Now, in real submarines, the ballast tanks are kind of around the submarine. They're actually not like exterior. Uh, what I mean by that is if like you had a cross section, like if this is the front of my sub, like here's my window and everything, um, the ballast tanks are actually usually like in the walls of the sub like that. But for these purposes, so we were thinking about them, you're gonna create kind of like the cartoon one, an exterior ballast tank. And you don't have to use my shapes. Um, these are just so that way you have a starting point for brainstorming. You could have different shaped windows and you can have different, um, different shaped fins and everything else. All right, so once you're done with your practice one, I want you to draw a light coming, coming out of it like this. And then I'll show you what to do next. So right now we're practicing and then you can pause here. Okay, once you practice, we're gonna put it on a piece of paper. Your paper will look like this at the beginning. So basically you just have to fit your tank onto this part, the lights coming out of it. So you'll sketch it in pencil first. I have to leave room for the propeller and stuff. And we're gonna cut this out later, so make these shapes really thick. You don't want like really thin, skinny um, shapes because cutting out around it might be hard. If there's weird spaces in between, we can probably just color in black around it later, but try to make things kind of um, thicker so that way they're easy to cut out. The periscope is almost like, doesn't come up that far. Um,
You can also change things if you want to. That's up to you. It's in pencil, so not a big deal. We're not cutting out today, but once you have finished your um, drawing in pencil, you are going to Sharpie it. We're not coloring this part. We're just gonna color some of the Sharpie or some of the tank itself because what we're going to do next time is we're going to paint on top of it with um, like gold or silver. So for coloring, this is kind of the menu of Sharpies that I have. Um, so I don't have full sets right now in class, but you can tell me if you want a few of these colors. If you want your entire submarine just to be gold or silver paint next time, all you have to do is just outline it and nothing else. But if you want to add a few accents of color, you can pick from any of these colors. Um, make sure you say like you want the light blue, not just blue or lime. Uh, you can see the purple kind of looks pinkish and that the maroon kind of looks a little darker. So there's no like pure purple. So really look at these colors when you're picking colors and telling me which ones you want. Um, once we get done with this part, that's gonna be the end of class. So um, doing the pencil first here, then sharpieing it, and I'm gonna leave the menu of colors up so that way you can see it. 